Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to media reports, the Indian Air Force had been actively suggesting the creation of a separate cadre for UAVs and air defense systems, but the Indian Defense Minister has said that creating another structure for UAVs is not the way forward, and the discussion on having a unified drone force is currently underway. The new proposal recommends a role-specific cadre, which will ensure that the candidates will be selected for these specific cadres from the time of recruitment, just like the selection of fighter pilots and transport pilots. She also added, that there is no doubt that the drones are an important aspect of Indian defense strategies, and all the three wings have several assigned roles for operating the UAVs. Over 200 UAVs inducted into the Indian Armed Forces are with the Indian Air Force, and presently the fighter pilots are diverted to operate the drones. India and Russia have recently signed the $5.4 billion contract for the supply of S-400 system to India, and the deliveries of the system is scheduled to start in 2020. India will receive 10 battalions of the S-400 system, and one battalion normally consists of 8 launchers, 112 missiles, and the associated command vehicle, long-range radar, engaging radar, and other support vehicles. According to latest reports, India has added a clause in the agreement for S-400 system, and this rider clause prevents Russia from selling the S-400 system, or any similar advanced air defense system to Pakistan. The rider clause permanently puts an end to Pakistan's dream of acquiring the S-400 system, and such high-value acquisitions are only fantasy for a country like Pakistan, that is currently selling cars and buffaloes to pay its international debt. India is in the process of buying four Kravak class stealth frigates from Russia, while two of these ships will be built in India, and the first two ships will come from Russia. The stealth frigates have their superstructure changed to reduce the radar signature, and improved systems and electronics will be installed to make it a more formidable ship. India is purchasing more experience and manufacturing equipment to speed up the P-17A construction, and according to reports, once these four Krivak class stealth frigates are in service, India will build additional seven advanced P-17A stealth frigates. The Indian Navy had received the first anti-submarine stealth corvette in July 2014, and three of these corvettes are now in service by 2018, and another corvette is under construction. According to reports, India plans to order eight more anti-submarine stealth corvettes. The Indian Air Force's MiG-29 has gained strength and ferocity, after the recent upgrade by the Indian Air Force. The aircraft is now capable of mid-air refueling, and is also compatible with latest systems, along with multifunctional display. According to an official, the upgraded fighter jet has recently showcased its combat capabilities, and the fighter jets are capable to give a perfect response to the adversaries after the upgrade. In order to enhance their operational capabilities, the Indian Air Force has initiated the process of a comprehensive modernization plan to upgrade its fighter jets. India's Strategic Forces Command has successfully tested the indigenously developed Prithvi 2 system during the night time. The system was randomly selected from the production stock, and the entire test was monitored by the scientists. The Secretary for Defense Production has said, that the procurement of foreign equipments and electronic components for the aircraft and helicopters by Hindustan Aeronautics has dropped from 52% in 2014, to 41% presently. He also said, that the purchase of foreign products by Indian research and developmental agencies has also fallen from 29% to 23%, and these figures indicate that India is moving towards indigenization in the defense sector. 
According to latest reports, the Indian Air Force will start using ethanol blended air turbine fuel to fly its transport aircraft like AN-32, after Prime Minister Modi asked to increase the use of biofuels and ethanol blended fuel to lower the costs of imports. India currently imports up to 80% of its oil requirements, and will now spend $1.5 billion on setting up biofuel refineries that are expected to employ around 15,000 people. Prime Minister Modi has said, that the use of ethanol blended fuel could help the country to save $1.7 billion every year, 